Emily West, a midwifery student from Calgary, pulls into the driveway of a home in Tabor. She's doing a three-month placement in Tabor and staying at RPAP supplied accommodation. It's been a, a huge help and I feel really grateful to RPAP for providing it. Medicine Hat College nursing student Kelsey Clark is also living here while she does a two-month mentorship at the Tabor Healthcare Centre. The first time she was ever in Tabor was when she came to move in. I wasn't like sure of the community or anything and like RPAP just helped me feel so much more comfortable. It took so much stress off of having to find a place for two months. RPAP manages 120 accommodations in over 40 rural Alberta communities. The goal is to make the rural experience as positive as possible for up and coming health professionals, whether they be midwifery students doing a rural placement, nursing students doing a rural mentorship or preceptorship, or medical students doing a rural clerkship or residency. The accommodations are furnished and provided at no cost to the students. The hope is that students will enjoy their rural experience so much that they consider coming back to practice in rural Alberta. For Emily and Kelsey, living together was also an opportunity to learn more about each other's profession. She does a million more IVs than I do, so I've popped into a room to say like, hey, I'm, I'm practicing IVs, do you have any tips? I've learned a lot from her actually about midwifery. There was one night I was asleep and um, for some reason I just woke up at 3 a.m. And I had heard like a little bit of tussling and I was like, okay, what's going on? And then I heard Emily run out of the house and close the door. And I like panicked because I was like, oh my gosh, like what happened? The door closed and I was like, oh right, she's a midwife student. She's probably going for a delivery. Most of RPAP's accommodations are used by medical students. Their stay can vary from a couple of weeks to a year. Jamie and Alexander are staying at RPAP accommodations in Lac La Biche. The fourth year medical students are here for an eight week rural clerkship. And we can walk in and we have a fully furnished house waiting for us, um, which makes the transition into a new community so much easier. Um, being able to open a door and have a place where you can have everything you need for the next two months. I think that I feel ahead down there. It's important that we provide that outlook in rural Alberta for those students who are considering it perhaps. And in that sense, they might say, you know, I really enjoyed my time during my rotation and I'd really like to uh, set myself up and perhaps be there in the long term. I can say my time here has been so wonderful and I've really enjoyed it so far and definitely makes me more inclined to consider rural residency here. Alexander owns a four-seater Piper Cherokee like this one. He experienced that special rural hospitality when a Lac La Biche physician let him park in his heated hangar. I'm used to kept to keep my plane outside and brush the snow off of it and warm it up in the freezing cold. And I've never been able to keep it inside a heated hangar before, so this is like, it's amazing. <laughs> if you are a health profession student and would like to use RPAP accommodations for your rural learning experience, here's what you need to do. RPAP's website has a lot of information, but in order to become a part of a rotation, the best thing to do is to contact your administrator um, at your, the university, the school that you're going to, and talk to them about um, the programs that RPAP, the partner programs that RPAP has, in order to be able to get out there and, and to get that rural experience.